try to relax myself. That's why I close my eyes to kind of slow that from quickly. Um, just uh, focusing my mind to hit a shot that I practice almost every day. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much <laughs> it to it. I'm sorry, one more time. Oh man, that was a big three. Shout out to Amanda for finding me. But um, yeah, I need I didn't see a ball go through the hoop other than free throws today. So that three was pretty big to me. And it's also like capped off the night. It was just, uh, it ended a great night. Jada, what did it mean to, to get this win on a senior night, especially in a game as big as this, to kind of keep you guys in contention for one of those double buys in the SEC tournament? Um, it was amazing. I know my teammates, they were all fighting for us because it was one senior night and two because we needed this win, like you said. We were all kind of dialed in. I think this team is pushing into another gear, heading into the tournament. So um, we're all mentally focused. Uh, we're physically ready. So <clears throat> I'm ready to go to war with these girls. Um, well, hopefully it's not the last time. Hopefully we, we get to host something a little bit. Um, but uh, it was amazing. Memorial, that gym holds a special place in my heart. Uh, Big Blue Nation holds a special place in my heart. And I can't thank you all enough for supporting through our ups and downs through these four years. Thank you, guys. Um, just like what Jada said, uh, Memorial definitely will hold a special place in my heart. Um, the fans, too. Uh, I've never had this much support in my life, so this means a lot to me. So I think Big Blue Nation. Um, I just want to say that coming to Kentucky was probably the best decision that I could have ever made. And um, I'm just so thankful for everybody taking me in, fans, teammates, staff, er coaches, everybody. I mean, it's just been an amazing experience, and I'm just so happy that I'm able to represent this university, you know, you know, for the rest of the year and then also for the rest of my life. It's, it's been an amazing experience. Um, for me, it's bittersweet. Um, you know, you step into Memorial your first year here, and no one knows you from a you know, at all. Like, they don't know you're not from Kentucky. You don't have any clout to your name much, or you're a transfer, you know, and these people go to war for you. They fight for you on social media. They fight for you. They're, they're there every single game. Some people are like, hey, I took off work to come watch you. No, I'm from the can of paint. And, I, and you have practice players who come in day in, day out, whether it's a 6 a.m. practice or it's a 6 p.m. practice, and they work hard for you. Like, that support is so crazy to me. Like, it's, it's, it's awesome. It's just it's it's just the best thing you can ever ha ask for, honestly. Just having that support system, and you know, and it doesn't stop here. There are people who are fighting for you and whatever you want to do, your future endeavors. They're here for you. This is a family away from home, and I truly, honestly, appreciate it. I I loved that we we can we can contribute to the win today, and we got the win as we needed on senior night. And I just I hope this is not the last time. I just hope it's not. Um, so exactly like they said, I mean, the support from Big Blue Nation, all the fans, the coaches, even my teammates like transferring in, I did not think that me only being able to play for one year, I would get so much love and support from everybody. Like people I do not know, people I've never even seen before, they're just like, nay, we love you. Like we're supporting you, we're here for you. Like, and so that is just, an amazing feeling for me. And I know like we all feel the same way when it comes to the support that we get every single day. And we know that it's gonna carry on even when we graduate. What did you want just talk about like? Oh. I mean, my teammates just were able to find me, and they put me in amazing positions. And you know, the the coaches gave me some early play calls that kind of helped me get going. And just you know, they fought for my rebounds. You know, kicked it back out to me. I'm just thankful for them that they were able to give me those open shots. And I, luckily, I was able to hit them. Was there any nerves going into the game to have a different vibe from the outside? 
Yeah, um, so for me, my mom hasn't watched me play in person since my senior year of high school. So her being there, I was so nervous. Um, just didn't want to fail her. And I'm just happy we got the win because <laughs> for me, that just, it was, I had like a weight lift off my shoulder. And I just really appreciate it that we can pull it out like that in the end. Me. This is my first time crying. <laughs> I cried twice before no, we I even. I think I cried first. I was not oh, yeah. crying this morning. Oh, yeah, you're right. Never mind. Okay, okay, yeah, it depends, like, by yourself, or, you know, in front of people. <laughs> I, I, was, I was balling in front of them, you know what I'm saying? We're all familiar with your accomplishments on the court, but we also realize how smart you guys are. You're good students, and sometimes that aspect gets lost. Can you talk a little bit about the academic part of your experience here at UK? Girl. Yeah, girl. Yeah, girl. So I just want to always like remind you guys that it's just never it's never lost. It's there are always people here to help you, you know. And I would say, oh my God, I'm failing, have an 89, and I'm just freaking out. And they will help me get a tutor. They will help me, you know, get the resources I need. They are always here for you and the athletic side to help you further yourself. Because when you leave basketball, because at some point it's going to end, you have to have, be able to do something with your life. They're preparing you for that. And and it's never lost. I've, I've gotten so many research opportunities because of my coaches, because of the support staff that is here. They have helped me propel myself to believe that I can actually make it to med school and, and become a surgeon, you know? And it's never lost. I, it's not. I would definitely say coming in, that was the first thing the coaches talked about, how we are 3.0 and above team. Like, so coming in, I knew, like, I had to make sure that I was on my academics, making sure that I was keeping up in class. And just like Ogechi said, honestly, I'll have an 80 and I'm like, I'm failing this class. <laughs> like, these are just not good enough for me. Like, I have to have an A. So that's just the mindset that I've always had. And I know our whole team, like, we just work so hard between going to class, having all the tutors and the extra support that we get. I mean, it's it's pretty much number one, like academic spurs than basketball. <laughs>